Honorable Attorney General Raul, what inspired you to become uh, an Attorney General and what's your journey been? Um, from the Attorney General's office, you get to um, serve in multiple capacities. One as a Chief Legal Officer of the state. Some of that involves mundane things, uh, such as uh, representing the state and uh, legal actions, what, what, whether that's defensively defending the state agencies or affirmatively. Um, but you're also a chief sort of advocate for the state and for the people of the state, uh, more importantly. And that can reflect itself in areas such as consumer protection, um, protecting the air, water, and land of, of the state from uh, pollutants, um, making sure that uh, we do things to protect people from uh, criminals that uh, threaten our public safety, um, and, and a wide and making sure that our civil rights and our voting rights uh, are, are protected. And so what inspired me is uh, the desire to be an advocate for people who need we need that advocacy. And how would you define the rule of law so teenagers can understand it today? Well, the rule of law uh, is uh, what gives us the construct for uh, a society uh, to exist in with order, right? Uh, uh, so there's not chaos, so there's not uh, uh, folks wildly taking advantage of, of one another and um, and so it is important uh, that we work to respect and preserve the rule of law in order to have such a, a, a society and attorneys general particularly in this era you know it, it is critical that uh, we elect attorneys general that respect the rule of law and put the rule of law above, and this is critically important, put the rule of, of law above their self-preservation as a politician. Um, yeah. And lastly, how do you think we the people and teenagers can partner with the Attorney General's office to protect themselves from the potential dangers of the internet and social media? That is, that is a great question. Um, the internet and social media uh, can be a positive tool to spread uh, factual information and to um, for people to learn in information and to educate themselves and for people to communicate and learn about one another. However, if misused, it could spread misinformation. Uh, it could uh, lead people to um, uh, unnecessarily criticizing and um, um, pestering the, their uh, fellow citizens and uh, lead to a place where you have people uh, uh, doing hateful and in some cases violent uh, where they're inspired to do violent things and we've seen that and uh, so it's important that there uh, it's important that there be ambassadors uh, of good ambassadors of fact ambassadors who argue against a uh, misinformation in order to uh, correct a uh, direction that much of our country and much of our world has gone as a result of uh, those who have taken advantage of the, uh, the tools of technology that otherwise can be used in a positive manner. Thank you so much for this interview.